Welcome back, boys and girls. This is Scyther 4077. We are playing Conan. This is part 10. And we're continuing on through the building that we're fighting through <laughs> from the last video. And here, after we clear out all these scumbags, we're going to get ourselves an extension on our magic. So we're going to get two more slots on our magic. So that's great because, you know... That's always nice to have, especially considering there is a boss fight coming up in this video. And it is the Sorceress Queen, and she's not really that tough, but she's... Like, like a lot of the things in a lot of the games, she's got some annoying attacks. You know, they're not really... She's not difficult, per se, you know. It's just that she's just... So many attacks that she has. And you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. Now, as you notice, when you're near that bonfire, you know, want to try to stay near there because, you know, it catches people on fire when you, uh, when you smack it. So you want to lead, lead some people towards it, especially the heavies because, you know, it really helps. You know, like that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful. See, now you can't block, obviously you can't block everything that the heavy throws at you because, well, it's just not possible. But... You know, just try to keep avoiding them and maybe try to lean them over here, like I did. And, yeah, come on over here. And, of course, there are two damsels in distress in this room. You can't miss them because they keep calling for you. Although, <laughs> the second one, when I went to... I couldn't find her. I'm like, where are where are you? You know, and I... She's, she's over there. She's right over here. I just... I don't know. I kept pa passing by her and I didn't see her or anything like that, so... But eventually I found her. But anyways... Go ahead and stab that first rune. We're going to go over here, and we're going to go through underneath the scaffolding and stuff. Underneath the scaffolding. And we're going to stab that one, of course. And then we're going to go to the last one, just like right here. You could have stabbed it. It doesn't really make a difference. But just don't forget to do it, because once you push this obelisk over, you might, might be starting over this level if you forget about the runes. So we're going to climb up here, let me get some health. There's a health jug up here though, which is right here. Which we'll need. We'll need it. Might as well. So we're going to run around here, we're going to jump towards the wall, because those are ledges we can jump up on. And there is a save point, so don't forget to save. Uh, I'm sure I don't really have to tell you guys that, but uh, I figured, you know, you never know. You might miss it or something, I don't know. And there's also a magic refill jar that you can get. Now, right here, these Stygians here, I don't even bother with them. They're, it's just pointless. I don't even bother with them. They they just take too long to, to fight because they're flying just out of reach and, you know, then you get away from them to fly towards you again. It's, like, it's pointless because it's like you lose health. You might lose health for no reason. Well, you can just avoid them. So, I go ahead and I just Take care of these guys. And then you gotta wake, make your way up the stairs. There is a chest in here, don't forget it. Get yourself some more orbs. Try not to get smacked around too much by these guys with the shields. I think there's probably a few guys with halibirds, you know, usually. There isn't really that much of a variety of enemies in, in each level, you know. I mean, you get like three, maybe four at a time. Other than that, there isn't really much variety. I think the biggest variety I had before was when we were fighting the apes, and then we had, you know, the a few other a few other types of uh, warriors. And actually, no, not even then, because you know, I mean, yeah, there are a few different types of apes and everything, but technically, you know, as far as humans go, that we were fighting, we only had like two different ones aside from the apes. So really, yeah, you only usually let fight like three different types of enemies all at once. But you're going to make your way up here. All the way up. Don't fall off. Actually, I don't think you can fall off right there. And you got a heavy and you got an annoying shield guy. And this this is what annoys me too. It's like, you know, you got to wait for the mini cutscene to end of you pushing. You know, you have no choice. You can't move. And you get the dude's hitting you. You know, the heavy's hitting you. It's like, you know, this is not fair. Even though I only lost like a tad stitch of health. That's not the point. The whole point is is that you shouldn't they shouldn't be able to do that. So yeah. 
Okay, so that shield guy's taken care of because I can give him a death stomp. Ooh, a double death stomp, actually. So we go ahead and fight this guy. Do whatever you need to do, whatever kind of... Yeah, try to do better moves than I'm doing here because apparently, I, I don't know, I'm not, hitting a, I'm not hitting the square button enough in order to, you know, get the wheel of death, my favorite wheel of death. There it is. But I wasn't hitting it enough, apparently. Yep, don't get hit by flames. So you beat him, you jump towards the wall. Of course, there's nowhere other really uh, any other place to go. Now this was giving me balls when the first time I played it because I kept jumping and I'm like, what the hell? Am I supposed to move the platform? No, I just was jumping at the wrong time. But you just gotta time it right. Just jump at the last second. Okay, so here we are. We're at the last. Well, we're at the boss. I mean, not the last boss. And, uh, let's get some guys to fight here. Now, you can go ahead. What I would do is I would just fight them normally, just like this, okay? Because she won't come out until all these guys are done for. Or until all these guys are taken down for the count, she's not going to show up. So, you know, obviously try not to get hit too much. But if something like that happens, look at that. You know, I pretty much got full health, so that's good. So I don't Because there's two jars in here. But, you have to understand, there's three phases to the fight, so... You know, well, actually, there's more than that. There's, let's see, there's first phase, and then... Hmm, second phase, hmm, third phase. There's, like, five phases, five or six phases, so... And you'll see what I mean once we get to the phases. But, I will shut my trap, and let this cutscene play. And then, I'll come right back here. As soon as she's done gapping. Okay, here we go. Um, if you can, you can try to get it behind her, but it's kind of hard to do that. And just watch out for her. She only has a few attacks. Just, uh, you gotta watch out for a sweeping attack. And then you gotta watch out for an actual... See, look at that. It's like a broom. Okay, that really just pissed me off every time she was doing that. Because it's like, it's really... Uh, oh, my God. It's not like it... It doesn't really do much damage. It's just... It just pisses me off. So, anyways... You take her down, I mean, you know, you just, just try to avoid her attacks, I mean, it's not... It doesn't take a genius to figure this out, okay? She's only got a few attacks. You know, and when she's about to do that sweeping attack, you can tell. And then, you roll out of the way, okay? Not the broom sweeping attack, but the actual sw where she sweeps in like a semi-circle real fast. And you just have to, you know, or if you're far enough away. Now, these guys are very annoying too. They don't have any weapons, but they claw at you. So what I do is I go ahead and I drop the meteors down on them. So that takes care of most of them. Plus I needed uh, some time to be able to get some health. So, okay, so that's the first jar that I went ahead and depleted. These, like I said, these guys aren't too bad. You just got to kind of block and everything. And I wasn't doing such a very good job doing that. And you have to avoid her with those stupid ass uh, lasers. Or, or not lasers, but flames. Okay, so once you take care of them, she comes down again, but you can go ahead and start attacking her and get her health down a little bit right off the bat. Alright, now she's going to have another added move where she pounds the ground, and it sends a shockwave. Whoa, watch it. And there she is, and you're supposed to jump, and I didn't. <laughs> but I did pick up some health, so that's good. I was trying not to, I was trying to break that box to try to get more health, but... So, yeah, I already got her down. I did have to use the jug, and I still lost some health. But that's okay. We're good. She's going to send out more minions, and, of course, she's going to be shooting out that crap from her staff and everything like that. All right, so that's kind of hard to avoid, because if you're, if you're in the middle of hitting someone, yeah, you can always stop and roll out of the way, but the problem is, if, like, if you're in a section where... You're just finishing, you know, doing a finishing move or something, you're gonna get hit. Now, that was my own fault that I was letting him hit me. I should have been 
shielding myself, but I didn't. And I got hit by her. Oh my god, you son of a I mean, it's like the guys aren't really that difficult. It's just, god, they're... Oh my god, I was getting so pissed off. I was like, don't tell me I'm going to die right here because of these idiots. But then they gave me some health, I rolled out of the way, and I almost got hit, and then I got hit. <laughs> but, and of course I lost more health. God damn it, really? Seriously? Oh, God. Cool, alright. So and that's cool too, because her flames will take out those guys, I think. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if they can be hurt by it. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to just focus. Okay, so here's the last phase of the fight. What you have to do is you have to move forward, and when she sends out a shockwave, you got to time it right and jump over it so you don't get hit by it. So I made it. Now I'm trying to jump forward, and you should be able to jump over that rock so you can trigger the cutscene and trigger the button prompts, and I, it's not working. It's not working. The first time in this video I did it and it glitched. I was stuck up in the air moving around and I was stuck up in the air. I couldn't get past and I was stuck. I was pissed. So I had to, I had to end up starting the, that part over. Or I ended up, I ended up dying. So finally, I, I kind of move around. I'm like, oh my god, really? Finally I was able to get over there. I don't know what the problem was. but So just follow the button prompts and you should be fine. And that is another boss taken care of. Chimera is down for the count. Well, she will be in a minute here, not even. So, yeah, okay, we got done with another boss fight. That's great. We are going to be coming up on another cut, another cut scene, so I will leave you with that. But until then, this is Scyther4077 saying take care and cheers. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with Conan Part 11. So stay tuned, and I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I know I'm enjoying making them. But... Until then, bye-bye. Graven's crimes were legion. He had to be punished. Ancient laws decreed who would stand as judge and jury. It would be his brother. Called him. He used the ancient magic to lock the wizard in his stony cell. Graven's power had become his prison. Damn you, Calvin! I'll eat your soul! More armor. What else did you find? It does not matter. Tell me, who is this wizard, Calden? He's the man who raised me. The man who saved me from Graven. Do you know where to find him? Of course, he lives in Argos. Take me to him.